So we have this show and it is called Meet a Palestinian. And okay. most people in the world, especially in Pakistan, people love Palestinian people. But and we love people of Pakistan. Thank you. But we have never met anybody because we cannot go to Israel on our passport. It says you cannot go to Israel. Therefore, you cannot go to Palestine. So I started doing this recording video interview so that people of, okay. can, people of Pakistan can actually have a friend in Palestine, in Gaza, in Ramallah, wherever. Uh, okay. And, and feel from heart to heart, you know, like really know somebody. Okay. It's like having a brother or a pen pal or in you know, old times in another country. And now today with Skype, WhatsApp, Facebook, we can actually talk once a month and say, hello, Habibi, everything okay? Can we help you? Something. Excellent. So the show is called Meet a Palestinian. And today you are the star of the show. And I want to know uh, where were you born? How many brothers, sister you have? What was, do you study? Uh, what was your job? We don't talk about the problem in Palestine. We only talk about good things about Palestine. What good things about you? We don't talk about uh, the problem. Everybody knows the problem, but nobody knows the good parts. So we want to know. Okay. If, there must be good things also. You must be eating, sleeping, waking up every day. You're talking. Internet is working. So I want to know who are you? Okay. <clears throat> First of all, first of all, my name is Akram. I was born in uh, in July third, nineteen seventy six. That means I'm uh, forty one years old. I'm turning forty two next July. Uh, I was born in the Khan Yunis refugee camp in the UN clinic in the camp. Uh, sometime after Dun. <coughs> Uh, I studied in the my primary education, my uh, mid school and higher educa high education in the same refugee camp. Uh, I studied English, uh, majoring uh, translation and interpretation in Al Azhar University uh, in Gaza uh, in 1998. Uh, and then got married in 2000. Uh, I finished two years diploma in interpretation. And ever since I started working with international organizations, UN organizations, different uh, news outlets, newspapers, magazines, doing the interpretation for the fields, visiting for the field uh, delegations, visiting Gaza and writing articles about the situation in Gaza. Uh, I uh, also, uh, I have now three children. One of them is uh, three, uh, one of them is 17 years old. The other one is 15 years old and the third one is 12 years old. They are all boys. Uh, of, I worked in different places, including one of uh, the one and only medical rehabilitation hospital uh, in Gaza uh, for around, for some time around nine years between 2002 and uh, 2010. Uh, I worked for uh, Press TV as a news correspondent since 2008 and on. Uh, I did some consultancies with UN organizations uh, on the training part. They were some, providing some capacity building for the people, diversity management, uh, project cycle management, uh, testimonies from the beneficiaries, assessing the impact of their projects, and I have always been doing that interpretation for them. Uh, I live in Gaza. However, I travel to China. I traveled to South Africa, and uh, most recently I traveled to uh, UK. I spent a month in the UK. That gave me an opportunity to uh, to be exposed to different cultures, to understand different people, and to think somehow in a different way. Uh, I believe that we are all Muslims, non-Muslims, white, black, 
okay, Jim, uh, every single person on earth share much more important and bright things that than hatred uh, and division. We have many things in common and we can build upon those many different things to form one universal culture that is true understanding and coexistence and against aggression, injustice, and occupation. Uh, my life goes on like that. I have now uh, uh, regular work at Sawad Association for Relief and Development. It's one of the leading organizations in the field of development and relief. They have been helping families in need. They have building their own projects. They have been supporting entrepreneurship also. And I have uh, also been keeping that freelance work with the UN organizations uh, and uh, different organizations. That's it for now. I have five, I have four brothers and two sisters. My mother is around 72 years old. My father died in 1991. Uh, my brothers are all married and so are my, uh, my sisters. Uh, and we have been visiting and seeing each other. One of my sisters lives in a Rafah area, which is in Gaza, but the other one lives in, jo in Jordan. So I was trying to visit her, but this issue of the siege and all that stuff have been presenting, preventing me from doing so. But I know that in the soon future, I will be able to see her because she visited Gaza eight months ago. We met, the family reunited. We enjoyed the time and we are waiting now for some other time that we would enjoy the reunion. Uh, brother, you have traveled a lot of places. You have, you know, you live in a very interesting place in the world. If you were the Prime Minister of uh, Palestine, what are the three things you will do first week? If I, if I, were, the, uh, uh, if I were the Prime Minister for Palestine, first thing I would do is to fight poverty. Fighting uh, poverty can be brought about through the best use of the resources that we have. Uh, the resources are always available, but it is all about the way we would fetch them and the way we would use them for the best interest <coughs> of the people and for the best interest of the nations. So I think what we have, what we are facing worldwide, is not the problem of the scarcity of the resources, it's rather the greed of the different political regimes groups of interest and other uh, leaders who are just greedy about their position and they are not worried about the people. As a Muslim, we have zakah system. Zakah is not just a small amount of money that you extend to a, a single person. Zakat is an institution and is a mechanism through which we might not eradicate poverty but we, with that, can eradicate hunger because there is a difference between poverty and hunger. So sometimes you are poor, but the state supports you, gives you some social uh, benefits, and then you continue your life. So the story of fighting the hunger, not fighting the poverty. So, and also by fighting the poverty, you are fighting hunger. So I would fight hunger. And I would also invest in education. Education can be both a leverage for better education and better life also. And I would introduce the culture of entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship can be applied at both levels, the micro and macro levels. The state can start some policies related to that and the NGOs, the CBOs, civil society, civil society organization, community-based organizations can also have their policy about that, and also to have people with a mindset that would allow them to start small businesses that would pull them from poverty to productivity. No, I think no. those are the three things that I'd like to do uh, and see happening in Palestine. If you were the president of Israel, what are the three things you would do? If I were the president of Israel, uh, I would give the Palestinians their right to live in peace and dignity. 
that's number one. Number two, I would free all the sacred and holy sites and allow unhindered worshiping for the believers from the three divine messages. And the third thing, I would give up the nuclear and arena and allow peaceful living between, I would, I would cancel Israel as a political entity and I would allow the Jew to mix in the Palestinian and Arab community and live in peace without any tensions or conflicts. Beautiful, Habibi. Thank you so much. Uh, what is your uh, message to the world? Any message you want to give to the world? Well, my message to the world that we as humans have many more things that unite us than those other things that disunite us. And that we should look at every single thing from a humanitarian perspective, from a human perspective. We are all entitled to enjoy same equal rights regardless of our geographical zones, our culture, our religion or color. So I would ask the world to question that and to work harder towards achieving dignity and liberation for the people in Palestine. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Alibi. I am so glad. Um, I hope that you will uh, accept the new friends which who want to connect with you on Facebook, inshallah, and learn more from you and uh, work with you and collaborate with you. I have 